It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. Today, I want to share how I believe Aries Capital will end its relationship with Visual Edge IT. We know that Aries Capital has got to be considering ending the relationship with Visual Edge IT. Visual Edge IT has been a non-performing investment for Aries Capital since 2020. You've seen the episodes here. I've showed you the 10Ks and the 10Qs. Aries Capital has to be contemplating how they're going to get out of this investment. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to describe a way they could do it. And what I'm going to describe is going to be really brutal to the status quo at Visual Edge IT. But I will say this to all the employees that work at Visual Edge IT. Keep working hard. Do the best job you can. Because whatever happens between Visual Edge IT and Aries Capital, quality people have options. Whether the new buyers want the employees or not, if those employees are quality people, they will find options. Keep doing your best. But our industry has to be completely naive if we believe that the status quo can remain in place between Aries Capital and Visual Edge IT. There has to be an exit strategy. And today I want to share some thoughts on what I believe would be a pretty good exit strategy. But before I do that, I want to remind everybody of this slide I shared this yesterday when I was talking about the mega deal of roll-ups and their financiers. And I was talking about leveraging. You could buy one house for $200,000, pay cash for it, rent it out for five years, and then sell it for two hundred fifty. dollars Or you could take the $200,000 and buy 10 houses, put $20,000 down on them, rent them out for five years, and then sell all 10 of them for $2,500,000. That all sounds like a great investment, right? It's all believable. It could actually happen. But what happens in this scenario, ladies and gentlemen, if you start doing some mismanaged DIY improvements to all these houses destroying all their value? You go into these 10 houses and try to redo all the bathrooms, but you don't really know what you're doing and you end up building a big old mess in the bathroom. And now nobody wants all the houses. And the value of the houses drops. The value of the houses isn't even enough to cover the 1.8 million mortgage you got. It's a disaster. It's a mess. Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen the 10Ks, the 10Qs. I just want to show you this really quick so you know I'm not just making all this up. This is Aries Capital, 10K, where they tell in the whole world they took a $48 million loss against a company called Visual Edge IT, and there's that loss right there, $48 million. Ladies and gentlemen, You've seen the 10Ks, the 10Qs. I talk about this a lot, right? So it's safe to say this is a non-performing investment for Aries Capital. I want to read you one little section of a BDC credit reporter, and I've shared this numerous times over the last year. The BDC, BDC credit reporter reports on BDC lenders, and they, and they look for what's going bad at these BDC lenders' investments, and they talk about it. They report on it. And they've talked one, two, three, four times regarding Visual Edge IT. There's four different articles on the BDC Credit Reporter regarding Visual Edge IT. But this is what they wrote when Visual Edge IT got the capital from Incinia Private Credit. Remember all the press releases our industry did? And you saw all the consultants congratulating Visual Edge and everything's going to be fantastic and the market believes in Visual Edge. Has anybody ever asked themselves a damn question? Who in their right mind would lend a company... $40 million when their main lender just wrote off $48 million. It doesn't even seem logical, does it? Because that's not exactly how it went. And I've shared my thoughts on this. It's Incinia Capital and funds from Aries Capital. And this was 100% about operating funds. This wasn't about giving them money because they're so confident in them and they're going to go out and buy a bunch of more companies and they're going to get leveraged even more than they already are and everything's going to be fantastic. Come on, folks. But this is what the BDC Credit Center about it. Has received new capital commitments from Incinia Private Credit and funds managed by Aries Capital totaling $40 million, which the company intends to use support for its long-term growth. Unfortunately, we don't regard this new inflow of capital as a sign that all is well again at the company, which has been non-performing to a very degree since 2020 and has been on non-accrual for a year plus. And they wrote this right before Aries Capital took the $48 million loss, right? 
and then took a preferred position on the loan that was in non-accrual for a year plus. So ladies and gentlemen, the realities are Visual Edge IT has been financially non-performing for Aries Capital since 2020. On the Sharp Interactive Board, you see the map of the United States. You see all the red dots. Those are all the Visual Edge IT locations. Those locations are where the customers are for Visual Edge IT. If you look over here, you'll see all the states that they're in. Ladies and gentlemen, think about that map. And think about all the dealers throughout the country that might consider taking a piece of Visual Edge. Taking some of Visual Edge's customers. I think about R.J. Young. You know they're out there buying up people. Would they want to buy a few Visual Edge offices? W would POA want to buy a few Visual Edge offices? Would Impact Networking want to buy a few Visual Edge offices? Would UBO want to buy a few Visual Edge offices? Would Dex want to buy a few Visual Edge offices? Ladies and gentlemen, I do believe the best return for Aries Capital is to sell this thing off in its pieces. I don't believe there's a buyer out there that's going to buy the whole thing. I don't think there's a buyer out there that's going to want to get that leverage to buy a non-performing financial company. And the odds of Visual Edge fixing things to be a financially performing company, I think have long passed. So how's that work? I believe you set up a holding company and you go in the marketplace and you predetermine the dealers that would buy its parts. Is it 10 dealers, 20 dealers? Pick the dealers, meet with the dealers, figure out what marketplaces they want to buy. Then you form a holding company. Then you go to Aries Capital and you get Aries Capital to sell you the assets. Aries Capital owns the majority of the equity of the company. You got to make a deal for Aries that'll make Aries say, you know what, this is better than any hope we could get. Let's exit. Ladies and gentlemen, I really believe that Aries would think that way. Aries might also believe, wait a second, you know, a holding company? You're going to sell it off in its pieces? We could see some value in that. Maybe we want to participate. This sounds like a better plan than the one we're in now. And ladies and gentlemen, when the holding company gets this Visual Edge IT business, the assets from Aries Capital, what it has to do is it has to clean it up and clean it up quick so it can unload all this to these predetermined dealers within 90 days. And when they clean it up quick, human capital will be affected. I would tell you this, the holding company is probably not going to be interested in current leadership. The holding company will definitely be interested in those quality folks that can help them through this transition period. Ladies and gentlemen, sounds pretty brutal. But if I'm Aries Capital, I'm trying to figure out how to get out of this investment. And I really believe they are. Ladies and gentlemen, the IT services business within Visual Edge, it's been talked about quite a bit. A lot of folks are thinking there's no way in the world we want to buy Visual Edge and have all this IT that could be really dysfunctional. I believe it completely is dysfunctional. That's an issue. But I don't believe their IT business is that big. And I believe that the IT business they have could probably easily be offloaded, could be navigated through. Especially if you sell it off in its pieces. So ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what's going to happen over there between Aries Capital and Visual Edge IT. But I do believe for sure that Aries Capital would consider any option. And I also believe that Aries Capital is going to make a decision sooner than later. And everybody watching me knows this. Status quo is the killer of all that will be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo and I'll see you all tomorrow.